Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So guys, in this video series, I will be starting a new video lectures on OpenCV in Android Studio. All right. So guys, I will be uploading four or or five videos on OpenCV for Android, and I will teach you all the basics. Okay, and it will be a, a very easy and interesting. Uh, series and after i will uh, if after i complete the series i will be uploading and uh, i will be making a video series on smart selfie app using open cv okay so we will also implement the filters image filters okay just like uh, b612 or any other selfie app okay so let's get started so guys in this video i will teach you how to integrate the open cv in your android studio project so let's get started so first of all you have to create a new project and in here you have to uh, say open cv tutorial all right press enter click next and select empty activity and click on finish all right So guys, uh, this is the basic error which I am facing right now. So if you ever face this kind of problem, what you need to do is you need to remove the line of app compat uh, dependency. Go to file and go to project structure. Click app and click on dependency and click on library in the dependency and search for app compat and click select OK and the error now will be gone all right guys so now the as you guys can see now the error is gone so what we need to do is first of all let me change this to relative layout and let me remove that so first of all you need to download the open cv sdk okay uh, you have to go open cv sdk android download okay so from here you can download the sdk all right so as i have already downloaded the sdk uh, let me show you in my here you guys can see open cv sdk if i go to properties and it is 365 mb okay so here is the sdk so what you need to do is if after the downloading the sdk you need to come back to android studio and in your project first of all you have to create project okay so i also write the steps of integration okay open cv integration android studio steps so what are the steps first of all create project in android studio download open cv sdk for android now what you need to do is you need to go to file and here go to new okay so here in click app right click new and okay so okay here go to file new and in here you have to click on import module okay file new import module import the java folder in sdk i will show you how there is the java folder so you have to go click here and you have to go to the directory where you uh, install the open cv sdk so here i have this open cv sdk go here and go to sdk and in here you have java okay just click okay and here you you will see that i have this open cv library 310 so just click next and finish okay next 
and finish now you will receive an error okay so what is the error here you have to go to project view okay five project view go to here you uh, open it and here you have to uh, you have to go to this open civil library 310 and open build or gradle go to open cv library folder and click on build dot gradle okay now change it to your current spacy gradle specification okay i mean first you have to open your own build dot gradle file let me show you where is your build dot gradle file here you have your own okay so you have to these two things should be same 27 27.0.3 27 okay so here you have to change 27 27.0.3 and target sdk you should set it to 27 okay this is the step fifth step okay now the sixth step is click sync now okay so now you have to click on synchronize let's see if we if we get any other error okay okay guys so we don't have any error but the next step is to add the dependency add module dependency okay for that you have to go to file project structure app plus module dependency okay so let me show you now go to file project structure and go to dependencies and click on plus and here you have to select module dependency and click ok and now you have to click on ok now the what will be the eighth step ok so now uh, build or gradle is finished so now what you need to do is you need to go to your sdk folder then click native folder and copy the four files i show you okay so you have to go to where you have installed the where you have uh, the open cv sdk go open it and click on sdk and you have to click on the native libs okay now you have to copy that one two three and four copy go to android studio next step will be go to app right click new for jni folder okay so you have to create create a new J, uh, jni folder so what you need to do is you need to open right click new folder jni folder and change it and change the name to jni lips okay click finish and here you will see the jni folder jni lips okay so you just need to paste okay paste all folders in jni lips okay so now it is fine but next step is you need to go to android project in here you need to go to settings dot gradle or oh, no okay so here you need what you need to do uh, 
Android dot use the presetted NDK equals to true. Okay, so you have to write this. Go to Gradle dot properties and write Android dot use the presetted NDK equals to true. Okay. Now the next step is you need to go to local dot properties 12 part go to local dot properties and here you need to set the path set the NDK part okay so for that you need to download the NDK okay so i will show you the link where you from where you can download the ndk so download ndk for android studio okay so from there you can download the ndk as i have pa from here okay so as i have already downloaded the ndk i show you where the ndk is so here i have this ndk okay so what i will do i will just copy that link where i have this uh, NDK and open local dot properties. Here you have to write NDK dot DIR equals to and uh, paste it here. And here, okay, so you just need to uh, you sh must have same syntax as, as above. Okay, so now we just need to click on sync now. Now the all the work has been done. okay so now you just need to open your main activity and here you guys can see open cv loader dot initialize debug if it is initialized successfully so we can say it was to make text image oh sorry open cv load it successfully and not load open cv all right so what we need is we just need to check if the open cv is successfully integrated or not so for that open side sync and let's run the app Alright guys, so now you guys can see OpenCV loaded success, uh, successfully. So if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Goodbye.